How are you? Good, we're going to ask you a few questions as we hit to the stage. Okay. Danny Faye, what's the worst thing Todd did growing up? Be careful. Going to California. Todd, do you swear in front of your mom? On occasion. Nanny Faye, what did you think Todd would be when he was a kid? I thought he'd be something great. Todd, boxes or briefs? Briefs. Nanny Faye, Golden Girls are hot in Cleveland? Hot in Cleveland. <laughs> when did you have your first French kiss? 13. Did you know about The Chrisley family from the TV show Chrisley Knows Best have recently been going through quite a lot of things. Todd Chrisley and Julie Chrisley were found guilty of tax evasion and fraud sometime in June 2022. They are also scheduled to be sentenced on October 6, 2022. Recently, Todd also revealed that Nanny Faye, his mother, has cancer. While in the hospital, she left quite a confusing message about her daughter-in-law, Julie Chrisley. Stay tuned to find out what it is. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip-smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Chrisley Confession is a podcast owned and run by Todd and Julie Chrisley, which kept going even after their fraud conviction. According to a ruling made on June 7, 2022, the couple were announced guilty of many counts of bank fraud, wire fraud, tax evasion, and fraud and conspiracy. Additionally, Julie Chrisley was declared guilty on one count of obstruction of justice and one count of wire fraud. Allegedly, Julie made false credit card reports and bank receipts to rent a mansion. They're under house arrest as of now and will be sentenced on October 6, 2022. In the Chrisley Confessions episode that aired on June 16, 2022, they spoke about Nanny Faye's bladder cancer diagnosis. Faye had asked that it be kept private, but was found out during the trial despite the family's best efforts to hide it. Todd Chrisley mentioned the press and their utter disrespect for his family's struggles. He said they'd been sitting on the street outside their house with long lens cameras. They'd also been showing up at Nanny Faye's house, which prompted Todd to plead the people to respect his mother, her age, and her battles. The family is quite optimistic about Faye's recovery and prays every day for her. She's also receiving treatment, but Todd didn't go into much detail regarding that. When it comes to Todd Chrisley and Nanny Faye's relationship, it can be said that it is very complicated. The Chrisley's extravagant life has come with a rather big cost. Due to this, Todd Chrisley actually has a negative net worth, which means that he's in debt. This resulted in him removing Nanny Faye from her house, stating that he could not afford to pay it anymore. Nanny Faye herself comes from humble roots. In one episode of Chrisley Knows Best, she says that she had to work very hard, milking cows at 4.30 every morning, and then going to feed the hogs and chickens. Faye Chrisley wasn't raised with a lot of money, and it isn't entirely clear how she felt being removed from her own home, but it's likely that she understood, even if it was begrudgingly. Todd Chrisley has even said that the worst advice he's gotten in his life was from his mother, telling him to give his first wife a chance. However, despite being in hospital and undergoing treatment, Nanny Faye still had to testify in the trial of Todd and Julie Chrisley. When they were being investigated for tax evasion and fraud, authorities discovered that Julie Chrisley had attempted to defraud the Internal Revenue Service, or the IRS. Julie Chrisley signed the ownership of the Seven Seas Production Company over to Faye Chrisley. She was listed as president, shareholder, and member of the board of the company on various documents. Shockingly, Nanny Faye had absolutely no idea that the company was in her name. Her signature was on many documents that stated she was the owner of the company. She claimed that she does not remember every document that she reads or signs. The prosecution presented several documents that showed Faye was 75% owner of the company, but she denied this. She told Assistant U.S. Attorney Annalise Peters that she had never been involved with anything except signing documents. She said that she had never owned the company and that in fact she did not even want it. Faye admitted that it was very possible that she was told some things but forgot because of her memory. I have a lot of age on me, a lot of water under the bridge, so I don't remember some things. This comes as quite a blow to Julie Chrisley as their relationship has always been loving, almost like a real mother-daughter. In one episode of The Chrisley Knows Best, Todd made Julie a separate room to sleep in. There had been speculation that the couple may be filing for divorce soon. 
Zubaina and Chase have said that they've observed their parents arguing in the past, but the real reason is surprising. In the episode, Todd and Nanny Faye are putting the finishing touches on a guest room. Julie walks in, wanting to know what they're doing. Todd tells her that this is her new room to help her get a good night's sleep. She seems confused by this and says that she sleeps fine in their bed. That's when Todd reveals that he's up all night because of her loud snoring. He goes on to say that her snoring sounds like dead animals out of the wilderness. Julie gets rightfully angry at him and says they've slept in the same bed for 25 years and will continue to do so unless Todd goes to sleep on the couch. Nanny Faye defends Julie in this moment and says that while this second bedroom is nice, it's not Julie's bedroom. She says that Julie's bedroom is and will always remain the bedroom that they live in together. Todd says that this bedroom is better than that room out of Four Seasons, but Nanny Faye says that it doesn't matter how nice it looks, it's not Julie's bedroom. The fact that after Nanny Faye had accepted Julie into the Chrisley family so lovingly, she took advantage of her is astonishing. Julie gave Nanny Faye several documents to sign, transferring the ownership of the company to Faye. Faye, being in the practice of signing documents without reading them, signed these documents and is now caught up in the trial that Todd and Julie Chrisley face. She testified that she didn't read any of the financial documents that she signed before they came from a person she trusted, her son and daughter-in-law. The fact that she doesn't read any documents before she signs them, coupled with the fact that her memory is bad and she often forgets things, means that she wasn't at all aware that Todd and Julie Chrisley were using her name and financial records in such a way. Allegedly, when the Chrisleys were caught by the bank for tax evasion and conspiracy to defraud, they filed for bankruptcy and were freed from a $20 million debt. However, the couple continued to hide money from the IRS, said prosecutors. Faye testified that she was aware only of the fact that she was a signer on the bank account tied to the company because she needed to be able to sign checks if and when the rest of the Chrisley family went to Los Angeles to film a spin-off reality TV show, Growing Up Chrisley. Faye Chrisley was presented with an application with her sign on it for financing a Bentley. The application had been sent in by Todd and Julie Chrisley. Faye, however, said she didn't know anything about it. This does not necessarily mean that she wasn't informed about it, though. She cited her memory problems as the reason for forgetting about the application, among many other things. Prosecutors also alleged that after the IRS started investigating Todd and Julie Chrisley for fraud, they started rerouting their income from the show Chrisley Knows Best to Nanny Faye's bank account. Faye Chrisley says that she gave the couple access to her bank account many years ago when they were having a hard time financially, after Matt Braddock stole from them. Matt Braddock is Todd Chrisley's former business partner and is the person who turned the couple into the FBI for fraud and tax evasion. Braddock also testified against the couple in exchange for immunity. He said that he altered documents to help the Chrisleys get loans. When asked why, he admitted that he and Todd Chrisley had been involved in an intimate relationship. After it ended, they formed a brotherhood and remained friends until he was fired in 2012. He expressed that he had no desire to be speaking about his past affair with Todd and that it had been the first time he'd been with a man. While Braddock was working for Chrisley's foreclosure management company, Chrisley Assets Management, he and Todd started receiving anonymous messages threatening to expose their affair and the fraud they committed. Matt said that the text said, pay up and we'll shut up. He then withdrew $38,000 in four installments and gave them to Chrisley in a parking garage. Todd Chrisley gave this money to the blackmailer. Braddock admitted that after falling out with Todd Chrisley, he became vengeful and made a fake email address under fake names and used them to send incriminating information about the Chrisley family to the government and various news organizations. This just goes to show that everything we see on television and social media isn't always what it really is. It's horrifying that Todd and Julie Chrisley took advantage of Nanny Faye in this way. Nobody saw it coming, as Todd loved his mother very much. Julie Chrisley also treated Nanny Faye as if she were her own mother. And now, with the knowledge that Faye Chrisley has been battling cancer the entire time, it just seems too horrid. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think will happen next with the Chrisleys. Like and share this video to stay up to date with their progress, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see ya in the next one.
the next video.